When you finish editing a job, you should open the dictionaries in which you created new dictionary entries to review them for accuracy. When you find an entry that is incorrect, the three most common commands you will use to correct those entries are modify, delete, and move to dictionary. Let's begin with this entry in my personal dictionary. S-T-R-A-E-U-T, defined as straight, spelled S-T-R-A-I-T. This is spelled correctly if this steno is written for the word that means a narrow passageway connecting two bodies of water. However, if this steno is meant for the word meaning not curved, it should be spelled S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T. S-T-R-A-I-T just doesn't come up very often, certainly not enough to define it as a conflict with S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, so I'm going to modify the text of this entry to use the more common spelling and meaning. There are several different ways I can access the Modify command. I can click the Modify icon on the toolbar. I can click the Edit menu and then click Modify, or press the shortcut key, Control plus M. I could right-click the entry and select Modify, I could also just double-click the entry, or press Enter. Once the Modify dialog box is open, I can change the entry by typing the preferred spelling, and then press Enter, or click OK. As you can see, I've successfully modified this entry. But what if I'd made a mistake? What if I changed my mind and wanted the original spelling? Undoing a mistake in a dictionary is the same as an edit. You would just click the Undo button, or press Ctrl Z. Of course, that wasn't a mistake. I really do want the spelling S-T-R-A-I-G-H-T, so I'll click Redo and put it back the way I modified it a moment ago. As you can see, the steno for this entry is incorrect. There are two ways I could fix this entry. I could modify the entry and type the correct steno that I would write for sufficient, or I could just delete the entry, wait for it to come up as an untranslate or mistranslate in another job, and fix it then. I'm going to go ahead and delete this entry. There are several ways to delete. I can click the Delete button on the toolbar. I can click the Edit menu and select Delete, or press the Delete key. Another way, I can right-click and select Delete. These two entries really don't belong here in my personal dictionary. I probably should k-define or j-define them rather than d-define, as the name and spelling of Skolnik is specific to a particular case or job. It's possible I might want to use the same steno in another job for a different speaker or different spelling. I could delete them, however, the entries might be useful for future translations of jobs using this speaker's name. Therefore, rather than delete the entries, I'll move them to the case dictionary. First, I need to select both entries. I'll do that by clicking one, and then holding down the control button, and then clicking the other. Next, I'll right-click these entries, and then select Move to Dictionary. Notice that Personal Dictionary and Case Dictionary are currently grayed out or inactive. I can't choose Personal Dictionary because I'm in the Personal Dictionary, so of course I can't move any entry into the place where I already am. And because I'm currently in the Personal Dictionary in the System Files case, and there is no System Files case dictionary, Case Catalyst doesn't offer Case Dictionary as an option. But that's okay. I can just select Other Dictionary and browse to the dictionary where I want to move these two entries. Skolnik was the name of one of the attorneys in the Odell v. Wolf manufacturing case. So I'll select Odell v. Wolf manufacturing. Then I'll select the dictionary named Odell v. Wolf manufacturing underscore case, which is the case dictionary, and then open it. Case Catalyst is now asking me if I'm sure I want to delete the selected entries. You may be thinking, hey, wait a minute, I didn't select Delete, you selected Move. Relax. To move the entries rather than copy them, Case Catalyst will delete the entries from the Personal Dictionary and place them in the selected dictionary. So yes, I do want to click Yes and confirm that I'm asking Catalyst to delete these entries from my Personal Dictionary. I know that because I selected Move to Dictionary, Catalyst will not just delete them here. Catalyst will also place the entries in the dictionary I just selected. Now I'll save and close my personal dictionary. That's all there is to it. I've successfully reviewed the entries most recently added to my personal dictionary. I've either modified or deleted or moved any entries that contained errors, and I've confirmed that the others have the correct steno match to the correct text and that they belong in my personal dictionary. Accurate contents in my dictionary means better translation results for future jobs. Now would be a great time for you to practice these dictionary review and modification techniques. 
Go to the training user and follow the directions for Exercise 2 in the Managed Dictionary Practice document. When you're ready, proceed with the next lesson in order.